Welcome to this video and in today's video we are going to see the concept of arrays in Swift programming. Arrays are ordered list. What do I mean by that? But before we go to array, we were using variables to store values inside of them. If you look at it, I'm in need of four constant values to store elements inside of them. I needed first ingredient to store ice cream. I wanted second ingredient to store banana. I wanted third ingredient to store the chocolate and I wanted a fourth ingredient to store strawberry. So you have a data on your right hand side and you have the constant or the variable name in your left hand side. So we are in need of four variables to store four datas. But the problem is this takes a lot of memory space and you cannot remember too many uh, names of these variables or constants. So the idea is to have one variable and this one variable can hold all these elements inside of them. This is called as an array. So you keep an array of elements inside one single variable. So this becomes a array variable. Okay. I want you to notice here we're using a square bracket to, to completely contain all the elements that we need. So we have an opening square bracket and a closing square bracket and in between them you can add as many elements as you want by separating each element with a comma. By convention all these ingredients start from 0, 1, 2 and 3 and if I want to replace the first ingredient I say ingredients which is the array name and then I tell the index value and then I say add this element. So what happens is previously the element was replaced with a banana oh, sorry uh, the previous element was a banana now it, this got replaced with a strawberry at index position 1 and the same way at index position 3 the value was replaced with this particular uh, sparkle. So this is how we replace or modify and modify a particular array with the help of index. Index always starts from the value 0 in computer science. In any programming language you take, they start from 0. This is something you have to understand and keep it in mind when you're doing the programming. Now, if I want to remove something from the array, what I can do is, I, can, I must say the array name dot the command remove and then from where to remove. So I'm saying ingredients dot remove from index value 2. So whatever was in index value 2 got removed. Now the same way if I want to insert something I have to say the array name dot append. Append is a command that always adds an element to the array at the end of it. Okay now the question comes what if I want to insert something in the middle? There you go, you have the answer. You're going to insert something. The command is called as insert. Now, before you use these commands, I want you to remember you must always tell the array name. Array name dot insert. And here we're giving two parameters. The first parameter is what you want to insert. And the second parameter is and where do you want to insert. So I'm saying insert strawberry at index value 1. So the strawberry got inserted here. The next one is let's say that you have a nice uh, array. Now you want to do some actions onto it. The actions can be you're going to make use of the array. So when you want to make use of the array most likely you will be iterating through an array. What do I mean by iterating? You start from the first element and you repeat the process till the end of the array. This is called as iteration. In our case, we are going to place an item into the bowl. So you're going to take each of these item and put it here. So this is what we're going to do for iteration. Remember, since it is a repeated process that you're going to do on all these array elements, we are in need of a loop. And for loop is the best way to iterate an array. Look at it carefully. We're using the keyword for, and then we're going to create a for loop variable this is called as an item and then we're going to say in as a keyword and then inside of this we're going to say that in the array name so 
From the array of ingredients, we are going to take each item and then on each item we are going to perform the command place. So the first item will be taken and will be put inside the bowl. Let's see what happens. So each item will be taken and they will be placed on the bowl until you reach the end of the array. So as you could see the for loop started from 0 and it came to 4 which is the last element of the array and then it stopped. This process is called as iterating. Now I would want you to go into coding. I want you to solve the first puzzle which is sorting information. Read this particular activity. It says add new items to an array. Okay, so let's say if we are going to uh, run what happens. Okay, so it's a plain and simple activity. First, I would want you to try. If you are not able to succeed, there is a hint option which will show you what needs to be done. But I would suggest that you try to complete the activity without making use of the hint. After you finish the activity, convert it into a PDF and upload it into the post section of the uh, classroom. Okay, thank you so much.